Stand-up comedy has a rich history of being associated with being against censorship. It's, it's, you know, comedians are contrarians. You tell a comedian to not do something, similar to a five-year-old that's sleep-deprived, that will be the first thing they do. If you say, do not go on stage, do not talk about the CEO at this corporate event, comedians will instinctively do that. So any form of censorship is counterintuitive to a comedian. So uh, comedians pride themselves on saying uh, any topic is, nothing's off limits, da, da, da. That being said, I also think that as a comedian, I believe that there's nothing that's off limits, but I also think that human beings, we're constantly censoring ourselves. I'm censoring myself right now for this. I'm trying to appear smart, and I'm not doing that good of a job. But I do think that the PC culture, in my opinion, is of great value. You know, we should always strive to be more sensitive and understanding, and similar to the concept of liberty, which I mentioned before, it's ever expanding. So. Well, the, uh, our idea of freedom today is, is, uh, is a much better um, fulfilling idea of freedom than our founding fathers even envisioned, probably. Uh, but it's the same notion of freedom. So the idea of politically correctness, I don't think that has to do with censorship. I think that has to do with... Um, a certain sensitivity. So, you know, words that are very toxic, it's, it's unnecessary. You know, if you also identify yourself as a clean person, it's not necessary to say shocking words. That, that being said, there are great comedians that deal in shock, that deal in irreverence. But similar to liberty, irreverence What's irreverent today is stale tomorrow. So if you chase irreverence, that's, that's a pretty slippery slope. I mean, Don Rickles can do it, but there's been a lot of awkward moments for Don Rickles, even on a public stage. Um, but I don't know. I, it's also very personal, but I think that whatever we call political correctness or whatever the term might be, you know, saying things that aren't sexist or could be construed as racist, it's not that hard of a sacrifice. Now, that's not to say that people aren't overly sensitive. I think the bigger issue, which I even, we did an episode on, is the fact that we are humans and there is the mob mentality. That same mob mentality that would go on pogroms in Eastern Europe is the same mentality that people engage in when someone does uh, a tweet that's of poor taste. So I think it's not so much the crime, it's the punishment. And I think that human beings, I feel like we have this arrogance, like every generation thinks, we got it figured out. We're the greatest generation. We got rid of, uh, you know, fascism. When the reality is, is that every generation thinks we figured it out. Medical science, we've got it. We're scientists. What we do is we leach bodies, and that's how you cure diseases. There's an arrogance there that we don't, even today, we're like, we've got it figured out, you know? Um, you know, like we, like even with the transgender thing, I think that there's almost this sensibility like we finally figured it out. Everyone's equal once we get these trans people. But there is a bigotry that exists in our culture that we're not aware of, that our children will point out, and we will be as resistant as our parents are to certain things. Like, that's not homophobic. But they, you know, you know, my parents were very liberal for their age. But 
uh, I remember when I moved to New York in the early 90s, I just thought it was so funny when some of my friends from New York would say, people in the South, they're prejudiced, all of them. And I just thought that was great irony. Really, all of them? Isn't that ironic? So it's, it's something where I just think that there's a certain amount of humility and that we should carry. I'm not saying I execute that humility. I'm just saying as an observer, whether someone, it's like everyone makes mistakes. I mean, I haven't since like 81. 81, I made one mistake, then no mistakes. But I just think we should be more forgiving. And I think it's more interesting, the Teflon people, and I mean that as a compliment. People that, there are some people that can make mistakes and it doesn't bother them on a social, in a public atmosphere. And some people make one mistake and they're guilty forever and they're indicted. And I think that goes back to our mob mentality. So in the end, we're animals. We're like these strange tribal people that like, you know, everyone who gets around on Sunday night and watches Game of Thrones and watches these strange, this strange culture of this made up world. Like we don't have the awareness that we're just as crazy as that world of Game of Thrones. We just don't want to look at ourselves. Anyway, I'm a great guy. That's what I'm saying. Thank <laughs> you.